What's good everybody? It's me Osiyuki and you're welcome back to my channel baby and on this channel we talk inspiration, lifestyle and self-development and I'm here to help you become the best version of yourself as a young person. Now if you're no longer young just know I'm still here for you okay? <laughs> Let's jump right into today's video. <laughs> So guys, in my last video, I talked about how important the relationships and the friendships we keep in our lives and how they affect us in certain things we do, you know, in our effectiveness and productivity and how we can declutter the people that no longer serve us right in our life, the people that no longer give value to our lives or help us grow in one way or another. I didn't want to leave you guys with just that. I also wanted you guys to know how I've intentionally built healthy relationships and friendships in my life, all right? And how I am currently building healthy relationships and friendships as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the video already. I mean, we're already in the video. So why do I keep on saying, let's jump into the video? <laughs> Never mind. We are all surrounded by relationships. I mean, that's how we live. We have relationship with God. We have relationship with our fellow human beings. And in that, we have a lot of relationship. Relationship with our father, relationship with our mother, with our siblings, you know. So I'm just going to use the word relationship generally in this video. So I won't keep on saying relationships and friendships, all right? So you can apply anything I'm saying in your romantic relationship and in your friendship all right so back to what i was saying um the first thing you have to do before actually getting into a relationship or trying to build a healthy relationship with anyone is to make sure that the relationship you're about to build has good motives you know i mean you don't have any selfish motive just to suit yourself when you want to build healthy relationships with people you have to understand that it's not just about yourself it's not just about what you want okay you do your best to make sure that your motive is clear and clean enough that way it will help you stay protected while in that relationship because people that do go into relationships with um, their own motives you know motives that are not clean and clear enough they get caught along the way and that cut off the relationship so make sure that you have good motives whenever you want to build healthy relationships now as you've passed the level of having a clear motive and a clear mind towards a relationship let's assume you've already stepped into the friendship now how you sustain that healthy relationship is this do not feel entitled to anything a lot of people make this mistake and this crashes the relationship along the way so what you gotta do is this whenever you start to get close to someone always know that this person's time belongs to this person everything this person has belongs to this person you know i might be very close to you but that doesn't mean you do not have boundaries okay most of the time when i try to call my friends you know people that are real close to me you know people that i've been building relationships with and they don't pick up i don't get mad you know i also understand that these people have things they're doing with their lives i also understand that these people might not want to pick up this call at this particular time and that is okay guess what they have their own lives to live okay so once you can understand that some things won't get to you and this is why a lot of people take some things personal when building relationships they tend to spoil everything because they feel entitled to this they feel entitled to some shout out they feel entitled to um um borrowing some things you know when the person says no it's as if the person is ruining the whole friendship that's not true okay so do not feel entitled to anything make sure you give your friend his or her time and space to live their own life as well now when you're trying to build a healthy relationship with someone you have to be transparent and honest in your dealings you know you have to understand this 
nobody is perfect you know we are all helping ourselves grow okay but then it comes to a point where we make some certain mistakes and we don't want this person to know and we spoil some things and we don't want this person to know you not being honest and transparent is gonna cost you a lot in that relationship so when you make mistake that is why the other person is there in short what you do not understand is this whenever you make mistake and you tell the other person or whenever you do something that hurts the other person and you let them know how you feel about it that is when they get to trust you more you unlock a whole different space in their heart by doing that by just being honest but sometimes we do not understand it we want to keep it to ourselves and feel like ah, I don't want them to know this part of me and that is why this person still doesn't trust you in some things okay what you have to understand is this in a relationship or friendship okay I said I was going to be using relationship for all this in a relationship where there is no problem just know that one person is pretending because both of you are from different places different backgrounds probably and this will bring up misunderstanding on some certain levels if this person hurts you tell the person they hurt you if you did something wrong report yourself and say you did something wrong this is how trust builds up okay now this is probably the most important point for me always find a way to add value to the other person's life and this comes by constantly developing yourself on every angle okay because you cannot keep what you don't have the only way you can keep on being valuable in someone's life is by building yourself so i'm going to use this example for some of my youtube friends i created their channel art for them because i am good in that okay so i i created their channel art without even them telling me for some of them i created their intro for them now this is a way i've added value to them um for some of them i taught them about optimization and some other things and i constantly remain valuable to these people and that is how you constantly build a place in people's lives so don't always look for what to take from someone don't always look for what you're entitled to always look for what you can give out i just love giving out to people and this has helped me over time to build healthy relationships so it has helped me to stay relevant in people's lives so always find a way to add value in people's lives run relationships with a clear mind and with an open heart that way positivity flows transparency flows and love is everywhere all right so this is what i wanted to let you guys know intentionally build relationships that are going to help you intentionally build healthy relationships okay i hope you find this video valuable and please do share this video to someone because that way you're gonna help pass this message okay i might not be able to reach everybody but with you sharing this message it's going to get to a whole lot of people than I would have gotten to all right i really do appreciate you for listening and watching up to this point it means a whole lot to me all right i'll see you in my next video guys peace